Let's talk about the four things we learned from Manchester's latest game against Fulham, starting with creative, creative play is key to winning games. Um, I would like to first talk about how when our wingers put in crosses into the box, just like Garnacho did for Xerxes, that is where our goal came from. And I think that if we did that more, we will create more chances for our striker and leading to more goals. And just uh, if we score more, then I think that would just help boost the confidence of the team. Uh, also, our fullbacks pushing forward helps with our creative play because it gives us more options. Um, but those options are only good if we include our fullbacks. Um, so if we ignore them in our play and just start making you know, silly passes or long balls over the top, then it doesn't really matter. But if our fullbacks are pushing forward and we are including them, then that will help our creative play. And also, like I said, just making smart passes and not you know, doing a bunch of long balls and just, you know, making making passes that will, you know, actually build up to a good attack and just, I feel like taking more time on the ball um, and not just rushing it. And also for our second point we, we learned in the game is Ten Hag is hesitant to make changes to the squad during games. Um, I noticed that he does keep on certain players for too long, just like um, Rashford or Casemiro. Um, yeah, I think the reason he hesitates to take those players off is because he is expecting them to have a game-changing moment, but I feel like we have given you know certain players too many chances, and they haven't really taken them. So I think Ten Hag has to start realizing that, and then um, once he realizes that, he has to make a change and actually give certain other players a a chance and also he he doesn't make substitutions quick enough in my opinion he tends to make changes in you know in desperate periods of the game and at that point I feel like it's too late um, I feel like if he brought on Xerxes, you know, quicker than that would have helped in just our overall game earlier. Um, but you know, he we still didn't get the win. But I feel like we could have done more if he did bring on, you know, the changes such as. Uh, Garnacho and Xerxes earlier in the game. Um, also, just in instead of bringing off Rashford, he brought on he brought off uh, Ahmad Diallo, and I feel like Ahmad was just providing more in the game. Of course, it wasn't his best game, but I think we can agree that Ahmad has just been more consistent in the end of last season and then even in preseason. And now I want to talk about how um, I was impressed by um, Masrawi. I think that for his first game in a United jersey, he just fits in really well. And he adapted to our team quickly. And yeah, he, he just knows how to play the system. He has worked under Ten Hag before, and I think just... You know, I know people have criticized 
our transfer business for bringing in players that Ten Hag has already worked with, but you know, it, it just shows that it looks like it will work with Mass Rally because he just looked confident on the ball. He did have a couple of mistakes with, um, you know, a couple of misplaced passes, and you know, he kind of was, uh, I guess, a bit shaky during defense, but you know, that was that was just his first game in, I think, in modern football. Fullbacks who are more attacking are just, I guess, more preferred now rather than a defensive fullback, um, just like Juan Basaka. Um, yeah, and I think he would just improve over time now. And the final thing that we learned in this game is that our set piece, um, our set pieces, our set pieces are just still not really that good and that they still have to be worked on um i think that the team just looks very disorganized and we we don't really look like we have a plan going into a set piece or even when we're defending a set piece um and i notice that when we do take corners i feel like we do take like we plan on taking some of them short and I feel like taking them short is just giving up the ball to the opposition so I'd rather see us putting a, a cross into the box um, and then when we when we're either you know um, making a set piece or defending it I feel like we should be fighting for it more um, we look a bit a bit scared and, and I think that's just because like I said we look dis disorganized and I don't know if there's enough communication going on because we also I feel like misplace players against our opposition so we'll push shorter players against taller players or some you know something like that and then that just messes up our set piece um, so I think that is something that United will have to focus on in training and yeah those are the four things that uh, I feel like I learned from the United versus Fulham game